This is the story of Tidlick, the frog who caused a flood. Once long ago in the dreaming, there was a frog called Tidlick. Tidlick was a big frog and his thirst was even bigger. One morning he went to the nearest river to drink. He drank until there was nothing left but thick black mud. Tidlick looked around for more water to drink. He drank the water from the billabongs. He drank the water from the lakes. He drank until the last drops of water in the land had disappeared into his vast mouth. He was so fat that he could not move. Now there was no water left for the other animals. In great distress, they called a meeting. What could they do? There was no sign of rain. If all the water in the land stayed inside Tidlick, they would die of thirst. At last, a very wise and very old wombat spoke up. If only we could make Tidlick laugh, all the stolen water would burst out of his mouth. He'll laugh at my stories, said the kookaburra. He perched on a branch close to Tiddalik's head and told stories, which he thought was so funny that he kept shouting with laughter himself. Tiddalik didn't smile. Nothing changed on his wide, mournful face. Kangaroo and Emu were next to try. They played leapfrog. Still, Tiddalik didn't laugh. He just sat. The frill-necked lizard strutted to and fro, puffing out his stomach. Tiddalik was almost fast asleep. Let me try, said the eel, who had come late to the meeting. He slithered in front of Tiddalik. Very slowly and gracefully, the eel stood upright on his tail. Weaving and swaying, he danced faster and faster. He rolled over and over like a hoop. He twisted and spun like a willy-willy. He tied himself in a knot. Tiddalik watched in amazement. Then, from deep within him, a rumbling sound grew louder and louder. His mouth opened and Tiddalik laughed. A mighty gush of water swept the animals far and wide, bumbling and tumbling them along creeks and waterholes. Tiddalik had shrunk like a burst balloon. There was water again for everyone. Tiddalik slunk away and hardly dared to come out again.